In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the Layers toolbar. If your Layers toolbar is not turned on you can find it under View, Toolbars. Layers in SketchUp are used to show and hide uh, different options of an office layout for example or they are used to turn the roof off so you can look inside of your project. They are basically only used for visual pur purposes just to show something in behind another object or again showing different options. So first what we need to do is just create a couple of cubes that we can use to show how to use layers. So draw out a couple of rectangles then with the push pull tool we're going to drag those up then double click on the other one and that will repeat that same dimension then with the select tool we're going to select these cubes and make them groups because in SketchUp what can happen is that the surface is on one layer this edge is on another, this edge is on another layer so it can be very tricky when you're trying to work with SketchUp so the best way that we've learnt is, how, is creating groups first or components and then moving the group or component to the layer so just before we do that I just want to show you in the layers dialog and if your layers dialog is not turned on go to window then layers we have a layer 0 and this is the default layer so everything in SketchUp is drawn on layer 0 well it should be try and keep that, that little black dot in layer 0 then if we now select this object here you can see that it's on layer 0 so we're going to right click and make it a group which means that it's still on layer 0 so the groups on layer 0 and the contents is on layer 0 so let's do the same for the other object select right click make group so we now have two groups that are ready to be moved to uh, some new layers so if we want to move these groups to a new layer we have to click on the plus button to create a new layer call it option A and then click again on the plus button and call it option B and as we select the cube we can see on the layers toolbar that it's showing layer 0 so move that to option A um, just one other note as well with Mac computers um, you do not have this toolbar so you have to use the entity info and this is another way of moving it to the correct layer so if I was to click on this other cube now I could either use this toolbar in Windows um, and in Windows we can use the entity info but especially in Mac computers you have to use entity info to move it to the correct layer and if you want to turn that on you can find that under window then entity info so now we have two cubes one on the option A layer one on the option B layer so if I now go and turn off um, option B just so I can present my option A first I can then go to window and scenes and turn on the scenes dialog and I first want to turn off option B in my layers dialog so I'm only presenting option A so we've done that click on the plus button which creates a new scene and this scene here we can now rename if this um, name is not showing you can click on this button here which is show and hide details and click on that and it will expand and show details then go um, option A enter so that's now set then go and turn off the option A layer and then turn on the option B and press the plus button again then go option B then we collapse the scenes and you can see now if I clicked on the option A tab and now turns off the option B layer the visibility of that and turns back on option A then click on option B and it just flicks option A off and turns option turns option B back on so scenes are really good because if I change my view I can go back to option A and it will transition back to that and option B so 
basically we're only using these layers to show um, different options. Uh, another way layers are used for is if you let's say have a building or a house and you want to show inside of that house you could move the roof onto a layer and then you could turn the visibility of that layer off so you can see inside the house. But the best thing to do is to first make the roof, make it a group and then move the group to the layer. And the last rule of thumb is to always work in layer 0. So one more time, work in layer 0, never change that black dot out of there, and always make groups before you move geometry to your layer.